What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Kindergarten. My name is Splattercat. Very happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while. And we're about to bang out the last, well, not the last quest, the second to last quest right now. After we get Monty's quest done, we should be able to go get ourselves Lily's quest done. So let's make it rain. Today we gotta get baller stacks. Gotta get that guap, that gouda, that cheddar, that change, that skrillzas. It's gonna be dope. Let's start the day with hella money. Because I think we're going to need all $10 of it in order to make it work. I don't think any of these items over here is particularly useful. So I'm not going to mess around with it. Oh yeah, we needed to grab, uh, I think we needed the key mold over here. So let's get the key mold. We'll bring that to school. Very nice. I doubt that we're going to be able to use the principal's key on Monday. It doesn't seem like that content is in the game yet. But we're going to get robbed for $5 when we come through here. And I'm just hoping we can pick up the difference later on. I'm not totally sure how we're going to do this, but I played around with it in between episodes, and I've got like a rough idea of how we can make this happen. So we give Monty the key. that the mold you want to use? Uh, yeah, no problem. It'll cost you 20 bucks, though. I'll have it made by the end of the day. You can pay me for it then. All right, so there it is. Monty's done. I think we need to buy a yo-yo because there's money inside the janitor's closet that we need. So we've got that. Uh, for anything else that's going on, I don't think... I think that's good enough. I think the yo-yo is good enough for now. I don't know. I I'm not sure what else we need. I've played around with all the other items. Uh, such as, for example, I've played around with the gum and everything else just to see if I can sell them or I can use them for anything else to make more money. But it hasn't gone down like that. Uh, let's talk to you. Yeah, take this yo-yo. So there it is. You've got the yo-yo, and that should get us out of the room so that we can go into the back and start playing around with some stuff. Go distractor, we'll jump straight in with the hall pass. Alrighty, we'll give you the hall pass so that you can piss off and leave me alone. There it is. And then we also need to go into the janitor's closet. We've got three apples left. I think the money was inside of this, not inside the stolen stuff. Uh, there's a note, a monster mod card, and a $5 bill. I'm gonna take the $5 bill. So that gets us up to $10. And then we go, I, we've got some time left, so can I do anything with any of these other rooms? Uh, the cafeteria door is locked. I haven't really played around with this phase yet. Principal's office is locked. Uh, hall monitor's not really messing with us about anything, and so that leaves the bathroom. I guess we can go in here. And this is when he's getting rid of bodies. Hey, what's going on there, boy? Oh, what's in those bags? What bags? I don't see any bags. You're kidding, right? Oh, these bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing for you to worry your stupid little head about. Uh, now run along. That bag's bleeding. Oh, yeah. Did you know I'm required by law to stay at least one mop's length away from children at all times? Uh, get at least one mop length away. Oh, it didn't work. Uh, how did that judgment get passed down? Are you still bothered about my tail that ends with somebody at the end of a mop? That's all that I needed to hear. I mean, it sounds riveting. It's a tale for another time. Well, I'm morbidly curious. Me too. That's what got me into this mess in the first place. Anyways, I don't think it'd be appropriate for me to tell somebody of your age that story. But it's okay for me to see a bloody bag in a bin? Righto, you sure are a chipper young sport. Here, take this nickel and buy yourself a bar of chocolate. Um, a nickel won't cut it? What do you mean a nickel won't cut it? A nickel's gonna have to cut it or I gotta cut you. Chocolate is more expensive than a nickel. Oh, well, in that case, I'll let the old lunch lady to let you have chocolate at a price you should have seen back in my day. Back before the whole mop incident. How about that? All right, that sounds good. Skedaddle. I guess, well, hey, uh, that's the bell. What are you still doing in here? Get back to class. Yeah, I'm working on it, man. No, I didn't get the thing that you wanted, so unfortunately, there wasn't much I could do there. I don't know exactly... Hey, kid, over here. Well, you... Oh, dude, you're awesome. I just hope the janitor doesn't notice. He can be pretty territorial. Which one of you dead little children went into my closet? Ah, geez, sounds like you noticed. Better hurry up and hide that thing before he gets in here. If he catches you with it, you're a dead man. Uh, Gar, I think this might be a bug, because I don't have a laser pointer right now. Like, at all. I didn't take a laser pointer, so this is definitely a bug if I end up getting pinned with the laser pointer. What about you, little junior principal? I took your lasery thingy this morning. Uh, he doesn't have it. And if he searches me... Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know why that triggered right there. That's kind of weird. Interesting. Yeah, I don't have the laser pointer, so that's not something that uh, I'm even gonna mess with. Let's go talk to... the lunch lady, and we'll see if we can get that chocolate. 
I bet kids will pay a bunch of money for chocolate. You dropped it off in the bathroom and get it after the bell rings. Old broad is just mad. Kids like my food better than hers. All right. Well, you got anything else? I have a chocolate bar. Janitor said I could get it cheaper. Oh, you must be his new little friend. Yeah, he said you were a good kid. I can let you have the chocolate bar for a nickel. All right, so there's the nickel. And what can I sell the chocolate bar for? Because obviously it's worth $10. So if I want to sell you a chocolate bar... So that's five bucks. And then if I sell you a hall pass... Yeah, that looks about right. I don't need anything else. And that puts me right on the edge. I mean, I think I can just bypass the rest of the day, although I need something for show and tell. Shit. Oh, dude, he's $12.50? No, I can't afford that. It's too expensive. Oh, no, dude. I need to buy something so that I have it to show at lunch. And then I can make a buck twenty-five here, so I think the salad would work. I think. Yeah, I think the salad would work. I think that's the thing that I missed, is I've got to buy a salad so I have something to show at, yeah, at show and tell so that I don't get pinned with a crime. And nobody else is going to have anything, so let me restart the day and we'll come back. Okay, so I'm back up inside the cafeteria right now. We've got the chocolate, and I think I just played this wrong, is really what it comes down to. I sell the chocolate bar, I get five for that. I sell the hall pass, and I get five for that. Then, we buy a salad. Oh, it's 75 cents, even better. Even better. That's the bell, but that gets us up to 8.95, 18.95, and I'm pretty sure if I burn just the last little chunk of the day, just hustling and getting money, yeah, I'm getting money. I'm getting, getting money. What? I'm getting money. And so we'll give the salad right there. We've already seen what they say when we give them the salad for show and tell, but we got $20, dude. We got $20, not bad at all, and we managed to get it all together. Uh, I didn't know about the chocolate bar thing inside the bathroom, but it worked out. I was worried I was going to get beat to death with a mop handle if I kept pushing that line of inquiry. But I was like, well, this is one of the few things in the game that I don't know about so far. Like, we've basically done everything else on Monday. And so I was like, all right, well, I've never messed around in the bathroom, so I'll just do that and see how it comes to the end. All right, kid, it's the end of the day. You got the money? Yup. Wow. You raised all that in one day? I'm impressed. Whatever you plan on doing with that key, be careful. Something fishy is going on at this school. I'll see you around. Pleasure doing business with you. All right, so we came out pretty damn broke at the end of that day. Not a whole lot of money left, but we did get the principal's key. However, we're sitting on 20 cents right now as far as our day goes. But we have unlocked every single secret item in the game right now. Uh, this is the key to the principal's office. I can use it to get into the office, but I should only do that when I know it's empty. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, bring the key to school. We'll fiddle around with that for the rest of the episode since technically we've only eaten up like half of our time. Uh, yeah, this is mostly going to be a money farming day. We've got to figure out when we can get into the principal's office, maybe at lunch? I wonder if I... so, you know what, maybe it's Lily's quest that gets me in there, actually. Ooh, that seems like a pretty good possibility. I need something... I, I need the nugget, and then I'm just going to farm out cash for the rest of the day. Uh, you can only hold $10 in your piggy bank. That's the best that you can do. That quest was actually surprisingly easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought that was going to take a lot more finagling and a lot more wrangling. And, like, we banged that one out really quickly. This is one of those weird situations where I find myself stuck and not quite sure what I want to do. I suppose we could go after Monster Mon cards for the rest of today. That's four seventy-five right there that we've managed to stack up. It's $12 for the other Monster Mon cards, so maybe I'll try to get Holy Knight or something like that, although we would need $10 in order to do that properly, too, I think. No, that's just to get 20 We only need twelve fifty for the Monster Mon card, the really rare one. Yeah, let's focus on Monster Mon cards for the rest of the day. There's a couple Monster Mon cards I haven't gotten. There's one in the cubby. There's the one that he sells you for twelve fifty. There's the one that's inside the janitor's closet. There's a number of them that I haven't gotten yet, and I think that they are all easily attainable at this point if I focus. Although, holy shit, there's a lot more Monster cards than I thought. Huh. Okay. I thought there was a lot more of those than that. Alright. I can make this work, though. I think. If I go in with the $5, so I've got $4.95 there right now. If I get the $5 from the janitor's closet and then I bother him, that other card should be pretty easily obtainable. I don't think we're going to struggle with that one. So let me grab 
like I only need like a dollar for the yo-yo to make that work. We'll take three on the dot with us. How about that? So we'll take three on the dot and kind of see what happens here. I don't need anything else in order to make some of the stuff happen. So yeah, let's go to kindergarten. Let's see if we can get some Monster Mon cars today. So you, sir. Actually, I don't need any of that. All I need is the yo-yo right now. And if I can get the yo-yo... That saves me a decent amount of trouble. If I get the screwdriver, that gets me something else, too. Yeah. I think I can live with that. That sounds good. So I don't need anything else. Oh, yeah, I needed Nugget's thing. Uh, I needed the pill. What happened to Billy? All right, so let's get his pill because I think that'll get me, like, two bucks out of the cubby. Come on, cycle that through. Yes, I just want your drugs. That's all that I've ever wanted is just to get your drugs as rapidly as possible and take them with me. So that gives me 50 cents. We've got three items right now that I think should help out in the future. So let's go find a partner. In fact, if I give you a pill... Yeah, let me give you a pill. So there it is. She takes the pill to make her day go better. The joys of dropping Xanny bars. Oh, we got a Monster Mine card over here. So I'll take the money. I will take the Monster Mine card. And if nothing else, at the end of the day, we'll have Monster Mine cards. She needs me. Uh, yeah, can I go use the bathroom? Yes, may I use the bathroom? Please give me the bathroom pass. Absolutely. So we got the bathroom pass. It's going to cost me an apple to give it to him. But that's okay. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to see the dead bodies in here. I'm going to ask about the bags to get the chocolate. Yep. Move that on through. I am morbidly curious. So there's that. A nickel won't cut it. Alright, so we've got access to the lunch lady stuff now. And I'm going to try and stack up as much cash as I can. We are back. We did get $2 out of there, so that only puts me at three fifty. though. I may need to start the day with more money in order to lock down some of these cards. I am going to get the chocolate from you. Janitor said I could get it cheaper, so there's $0.05 cents for $5 chocolate. Sounds great. She goes outside. I've got a screwdriver so I can get a Monster Mine card out of there, although I don't think I'm going to have... I shouldn't have bought some of the stuff that I done bought. And in fact, we would have had enough for the card... Yeah, we would have had enough for the card if I had done something else, and so that was a mistake. If I get him beat down, I can go outside. Yeah, so let's get him beat down real quick. All oh, that takes me down to one. I think we're just going to have to bypass for today. But this will refill my wallet, pretty much. So we didn't get all the Monster Mon cards that we got, or that we wanted, but we did get one of the Monster Mon cards. So you know what? That's good enough. I can live with one Monster Mon card. I'll show off a screwdriver. There you go. So yeah, I think we're going to have to do the chocolate thing combo in order to get the $12 together for what they want. And in addition, I'm going to have to start with a bunch of money too in order to make that work. I don't know exactly the amount, but like 8 bucks might work. I think that's probably what I'll shoot God for. But we got Freezy Guy Jim. Hooray! Freezy Guy Jim is now our home skillet. Uh, it's going to be Monday times 29. As you can tell, I've been playing this game a lot and doing a lot of recon work in between. That did refill our wallet, though, which is good. So I'll take $8 with me. That'll give me 4 which I think gets me in the realm of what I need. If it doesn't get me exactly there, it gets me close because I get to keep the hall pass. And so he'll take that. I'll buy the yo-yo. That puts me at 3 which puts me at 11 I think I'm actually going to take the whole amount with me. And if not, it's easy enough to farm up more cash now that we have that other method. So I'm not going to trip about it super hard. Alright, so we're going through here. He smells money. Yes, you're going to take my $5. Thank you for jacking my $5. I appreciate you being a dick, but I'm just going to walk away because that seems to be stuck. Uh, I have only friendship to offer you, Sir Nugget. So we get the nugget of friendship, so there it is. It didn't cost us anything either, which is the best part. I love it when friendship doesn't cost me a thing. That's the best type of friendship. So I want to buy a yo-yo for right now. There we go. And I also wanted to buy a screwdriver. I don't know if I have time to do all the things I want to do just yet. 
I might be cutting it close. I think you can really only get like one monster mon card per go. Let's keep it tight for right now and get the rare monster mon card that we want. We're at 450 and that puts us well inside the range that we need in order to run out and do our thing. I didn't get Nuggets pill, so that doesn't matter. There's the yo-yo, so we'll drop that in here. And give me a distraction. Drop that distraction. Do your distraction dance. oop a dee oop a dee oop oop a dee oop a dee oop Distraction dance. Distraction dance. Get your hands up. It's a distraction dance. All right, so we got the hall pass. That takes us into here. We'll get the five dollars. That'll put us at nine fifty. We get to keep the hall pass. So actually, we're way over the top on cash. That's fine though. I will take the money. So there it is. I wanted to get both the Monster Mark card and the money. But I don't know how that's going to work out. If I take the Monster Mine card, is it feasible that I get to 11? No, because I need the chocolate. But I have the Hall Pass. Hmm. Let's see what happens. I'm going to take the Monster Mine card. Although I think I already have that one. I might have made a mistake. I should have probably taken the other thing. So we'll go back to class now. We're not going to be able to talk to this dude after class. Nah, I didn't. And so the other guy's going to come in, and if he lets me keep the hall pass, I should be solid. Nah, I couldn't get it. Alright, so I kept the hall pass. I'm going to sell that to Monty so that I can get some cash together. Because it's twelve fifty for the card that I want. Yeah, there's $5 for a hall pass. Sounds good. Uh, what do you have for sale? You've got a McGlob Silly Meal, and you've got a salad. Ah, eh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're just riding today out now. He misspelled the thing, though, and if I had a screwdriver right now, I think I would have enough to get the Monster Mon card out of the wall in the hallway. He know we know that the principal is in his office at lunch. So let's just we'll just bypass this for now. We'll just bypass this for now. We did a pretty good job. We'll have some money left over. And I wanted the extra Monster Mon card here. So I want to buy that Monster Mon card. Yep, $12.50 with him and then we'll get out of here and that gives me an extra dollar so the coffers are not completely empty from where we're sitting right now we still have options I'm gonna show off my super rare monster mon card oh, I wants me to be more creative never mind well, I thought that monster mon card was pretty interesting so you know maybe it's not maybe it is but I feel like I did a pretty good job with that monster mon card we uncovered two today which should help us get the rest of them banged out I don't know if all the monster mon cards are in the game just yet because that central okay so we already had sneaky snake but we didn't have holy night Okay. I mean, we made progress. We added some new stuff to our docket, and I'm all right with that. Uh, this is Holy Knight. He could have been a priest, but then he found out they aren't allowed to court women. Gotcha. And then we've got a Freezy Guy Jim card. He's probably the coolest guy named Jim that you will ever meet. How would you know that? Have you sampled all the gyms? I'm pretty sure there's some pretty dope gyms out there. Some James that really been holding it down for the click. Either way, this is Kindergarten. Oh, we ran around. We got some Monster Mon cars today. I will see you all in the next episode of kindergarten this is a pretty fun little game in today's episode in case you forgot we banged out monty's quest which was actually a lot simpler than i thought it was going to be so for the rest of the episode we just dicked around looking for monster mon cards uh, we're missing one or two here and there but i think we can uncover them as we go along i'll see y'all next time thanks for stopping on in goodbye everybody